Hello and welcome back to this new esports stream. Um, I am Connor and I'm joined here with Madav. How are you doing, Madav? I'm good. How are you today, Connor? I'm great and I'm going to be the host for you today. We are going to get into some Rocket League tonight. We are up against um, UMass Amherst here, the yeah. Minutemen. And it's new right now, looking pretty good in the league. They are 3 and 1 and looking to tear up the field again today. What kind of plays do you think we'll be looking for and being excited for in this Well, match? with their with their new with their new Rocket League coach, uh, I I'm hoping to see a lot of demos come out from Wishbone from every single game we've seen so far. Yeah. He's always been great at those demos. Um, hopefully he's going to use them again right. in, the, in this game. What do you think? Yeah, those demos definitely provide a lot of tempo for the team um, who ma manages to pull them off. We've seen them uh, tactically use them uh, instead of you know having another player as a striker or a passer getting boost. They'll just have another player just take out the two goalies or a goalie in general. Um, and that will usually secure a goal for uh, SNHU. So I'm, I'm wondering what we might see uh, this round here it's going to be a best of five um so we are in for a lot of rocket league and i'm very excited yeah well <laughs> i mean that's what we're here for right yeah <laughs> <laughs> so getting right into the kickoff here we are going to see how these teams really fare against each other here and we are already seeing snoot kind of take their formation here um as long as they have this control of the ball I think it's called a, a trade here, like that. Um, they are going to be able to play the game how they want. Wishbone and Max going a little bit wide there, and the ball is going to be secured by AJ, who has a very nice position on the goal right there. Shot on goal is going to be blocked by Corky Wan seven. Well, as Rusty carries the ball right through, me Mario is not able to defend it off right away. Um, the ball seems to be really towards New's goal here. They need to really start uh, playing a lot more defense, I think. But Wishbone is going to try and carry it out. And Max is going to steal it right from him. And he's going to try to carry it around the goal. One thing we've seen in before games is that there's normally an early goal. But right now, Snoo seems to be defending, uh, defending this really well. But as I say that, Corky Wan is going to try and go for the goal. And he doesn't make it right away. Yeah, we're looking at UMass Amherst here play a very strong offense. And uh, look at the coordination and passing between right. the two players there, Corky Wand and Rusty. I think they definitely have the tactics down here. Rusty going a little bit wide, giving the control Ooh. over to Witchbone, who's going to make a goal. That's going to be the first goal for Snoo in this round with 3 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. That was that. I think that was one of the uh, like a good goal that we needed to really you know set set this match's tone. You know they were trying to rush all of us up on offense there, yeah. and we were kind of just able to take that like little opening window and just get a goal right away. Right. Yes. New. It has always been able to find those little openings in their uh, opponent's defense. There. Ooh. Wishbone is just going to be a savior there for AJ, who's going to go a little bit short. Max bouncing it off for Rusty, who's going to get demoed by Wishbone. Those are the demos that we're talking about. Exactly. Those are what we're looking for. Definitely. As they start to carry it on their side of the goal here, Me Mario coming very close to the goal, but he's not going to be able to make it in right away. Uh, as you mentioned before, UMass's team composition right now, or not team composition, but team communication and the where they're playing, um, how they're able to really pass towards each other effectively is really showing oh. just like that. Yeah. Uh, Rusty was almost able to make that goal right away, but Wishbone uh, blocked it off for Snoo. Yes, New is definitely not letting them play the game that they want to. However, they might be, you know, very well equipped to be able to do that because we're seeing the coordination come out and it's surprising, honestly. Right. Um, but Snoo is going to get their turn here. They don't have a lot of boost. AJ is going to get passed there by Max. I mean, Mario is going to have to come in for the save, but Amherst has gotten their time to just set up what they want here. Max is going to find that demo on AJ, but Wishbone doing such a good job of Ooh. just passing there and dribbling it almost all the way down the field. AJ keeping up that pressure is going to buy a lot of space here for Snoo. Right, you know, with only two minutes left, UMass has to try and get a goal here to really try and set, uh, set things even to maybe even to get this win or at least go into overtime, but right now, AJ is going to be trying to get the ball on their side of the on their side of the field right now. Which one's going to try and carry it, but unfortunately, it's going to get blocked right off. And AJ has to defend that, and almost cutting it close there. A demo coming out from Rusty. We're going to be one player down for a short amount of time, and it does not look like UMass is going to have a too big of a chance right now. But I could be mistaken. But 
almost almost making that goal could be a really big thing for them right now. You know, there's only a minute 40 left. They need to start getting their offense in and start making these goals. Otherwise, it's already going to be a first win for Snoop. Yeah, Max is very tricky with that ball. Wishbone going to have to knock it a little bit wide there for it not to go in the middle of the goal there. Max has been really good at cheating the ball from Snoo here. Um, Wishbone actually Ooh. proving me oh. wrong there, almost getting a goal from a pinch off Max halfway across the field there. Um, but we're seeing uh, the dribble game from Amherst like that is just so strong right now. Max getting the demo and carrying the ball as well is going to be able to buy so much offensive potential for Amherst here. Oh. Corky one ah. almost just bashing it right into the goal there. Oh. AJ is going to get the save. Yeah, Max just barely missed that goal right there with only a minute left. Uh, we're going to start to see the most out of the defense of Snoo and the most of the offense of AMS right now as they try their best to really get the ball in right now. AJ coming very close to the goal but not making in. Max, like you said before, is very tricky with this ball. He's able to handle it very well and setting up a nice little entry for Rusty there. We're going to be able to defend it off. Me and Mario pushing it back and getting it away from the enemy team. Yes, Snoo just has to play defense here, but... Amherst oh. has them in their jaws right now. They have so many people on defense dedicated to that. They don't have the offensive capability to be able to contest this ball here, and they're just forced to play this defense. They only have to keep it up for 15 more seconds, though. And me, Mario, is definitely going to cheat that ball out and be able to buy so much time. They have to ground it. It is not in a good position right now. Midfield, not that bad, but Amherst still has control of the ball. Just let it ground there. And that is the first round for Snoo. It is going to be 1-2-0 for Snoo here. And what a well-played round was that. Yeah, I think one of the best things we could have done is um, really, really get on that defense aspect. You know, I, I've seen from previous games is that we were really able to kind of pick up on that defense there. And we were just able to kind of like... I don't know, kind of play play off it if that makes sense. I yeah. think we're being more of a defense, like a defense like team rather than an offense. I think is that what, what we're normally are. We're normally more offense than defense, but I think now we're seeing the reverse of that. Right, and that scenario where we already had a goal is very strategic to have that defensive posi uh, position there. And we had, if you didn't look at the scorecards, we had like six or seven saves there. Yeah. Um. So definitely a very defensive. Um, game there from Snoo after giving that one goal. Amherst just wouldn't let off the Ooh. pedal and Ooh. Mario almost going to make it into the goal there. Surprising us almost with an early goal within the first 20 seconds. AJ playing that defense but Max is on the rebound. Yeah, both, both teams right now are playing extremely well defense. They're both blocking very well shots that are going onto their goals right now. And I think that's one of the best things um, about, you know, about Rocket League. These saves that they're making and the plays that are happening. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of technical things come out from Snoop, such as they have their formation here, and they're able to manipulate the ball, such as passing back if they don't think they can cheat uh, a ball there. Wishbone is going to go a little bit wide there. AJ's there for the defense, though. Um, and now Snoo really just has to look to get it out of the center of the goal there. If they can get out of the center of the field, um, they are in a good position. Ooh. But Max is going to just come out of nowhere and sneak that ball straight into the goal. Yeah, definitely. No, as we see in this, re in this uh, replay here, which one actually tries to knock it out. But unfortunately, it doesn't go right all the way. And Max just takes that free shot. And it's going to make it 1-0 to zero for us. But there's, or for them, sorry. But there's still four minutes left in the round. You know, we still have a strong opportunity um, to be able to really get another goal in. And I think that's one thing we're going to really try and capitalize on. Yeah, that was a one-person goal there, by the way. Max with the double bounce off the side of the goal. A little bit too high for Ooh. one to contest. Oh. And Corky Wand is going to end that streak with a goal assisted from Rusty. Look at that pass just setting straight up for Corky. He's cheating it from Wishbone. Yeah, no, I def I, as, as you said before, you know, the, the team plays that they're making, the passes they're doing, they're they're very well executed, you know. I haven't really seen a bad pass to where it hasn't really worked out yet from, from UMass, and I think that's the one thing that they're doing really well. And they're coming extremely close now to these goals. They We are two points down, but there is still a chance, you know, for us to go in. And me, Mario, almost making that goal there. And Wishbone going to try and maybe set it up. But Rusty is going to take it right from him. AJ is going to defend that beautifully as Max and me, Mario, try to fart it off to the side here. With only three minutes left, the ball is getting close to UMass's side. But AJ's not going to make it right away. And unfortunately, there's no one there to make that goal. 
Yeah, AJ trying to get a goal there uh, from off to the right side of the field. Um, Snoo really just needs to look to get the Ooh. ball in the center of the field there, but Corky Wand is not going to let that happen and score the third goal there for UMass Amherst. Yeah, now it's getting now the score is getting a little bit, little bit too, a little bit too high for comfort. But um, you know, I I think uh, Snoo right now kind of needs to like maybe maybe not be too too uh, much on the offense. Maybe come back on the defense like they were in the first game. You know, maybe kind of chill things out. Don't don't push up too much. Maybe, you know. Try to maybe rethink how their game, how, what uh, what they're doing, what the game plan is. Right. Yes. You needs these at least three goals though here to right. be able to catch up to UMass Lowell. So their offense has to be immaculate as well as their defense. And Mario is going to find the demo by three seconds for Snoo as a power play. And it looks like they are doing the best to utilize it right now. The ball looks like it's in not that bad of a position there as it makes its way towards center field. Corky wants going to defend that. Um, Snoo is really just looking to get it out of this corner here in any way possible, whether it be bounce off the wall there or pass to another player on their team. Wishbone with the air dribble almost cheating it from Corky one but AJ is there maybe gonna get this double bounce Max is there for the the, the catch there and it, it's looking very hard for Snoo to get past UMass Amherst defense here this time it looks like something has just clicked going from last round to this round for them right maybe UMass has figured out their plan or how they're playing or something they've been able to get these little free windows is been really beneficial for them, but the Snoo really has to start trying to pick up on that defense and that offense at the same time. You know, there's only a minute 45 left. We see me Mario trying to make that shot there as goal or as the ball comes really close to their goal. No one is really there to execute it, but AJ, or, yeah, AJ proves me wrong and just scores a goal right away, making it one to three. Um, it's still definitely a possible comeback for Snoo. Uh, though there is not a lot of time left, it is still, you know, there is still a high chance that they are still able to execute it possibly. Yeah, right. They only need two more goals here to tie it up with UMass Amherst, taking us into overtime. And they have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock Ooh. here. And the ball is in such a good position after this first kickoff here. And they have the boost to work with right now. Mario looking a little bit low, but doing his best to kind of get it out of the hands of UMass Amherst. But as they shift towards a defensive position here, they are not looking as great now. Um, UMass Amherst hasn't had the time either to really get their boost up right now, but they definitely have it in the better position here. Rusty Ooh. setting it up for Ooh. anyone. No one was there in time. Max was just a little bit slow. AJ is now going to retain control of that ball. If we, we only got around uh, just barely under a minute left. Snoo has to start picking up their offense as well as their defense, you know, trying to dribble across them, make sure that they're not able to get anywhere near that ball. But unfortunately, it does not look like and it's going to be too much in their favor right now as UMass is going to keep that offense. Me Mario coming out with a demo. And Rusty is going to carry this ball straight to the goal. But it is going to be blocked by one of our team members here. As the 30 second mark approaches, Snoo really needs to get this offense going. Me Mario again with another demo. AJ is going to pass it to Wishbone. But unfortunately, it's going to be it's going to be blocked here. And with only 20 seconds left, we can only hope that UMass will not get any more, uh, any more goals there. Yes, Snoo definitely has to pull something out here in these last 15 seconds. They don't have a lot of time to work with, and they need these two goals to be able to tie it up here. Will they be able to do it? Max is proving it difficult, as well as Rusty playing this good dribble here. Snoo has to keep it off of the ground here. Me Mario going to keep it up for a couple more Ooh. seconds, but it is not enough as it gets grounded there, bringing this match to 1-1. One to one. Both teams have scored a game now. And it looks like, I mean, from that scorecard we saw there, yeah, it looks like, I mean, Amherst just played a better offense and a better defense there. Um, Snoo definitely did their best to kind of contest there, but yeah. I think they just won more uh, trades there, uh, cheating the ball from players. Um, yeah. They we didn't see as many demos from uh, compared to the first game we saw here. Right. But we did see demos come out from Amherst, and um, that's a little bit more than we saw in the first game. I think we didn't see any there. But Amherst is looking at a very favorable position there with the ball being right in the center of the goal. Uh, they do not have a lot of stuff to work with here. <laughs> Wishbone's going to find that demo and set it up for Mario. 
yeah, AJ it. there in the striker position is going to be able to continue the offense here. Oh. It is so close to the goal. There's just so many cars there in the center of the goal. It is so hard to make it in there, especially when you don't have a third person there ready to strike it in. Yeah, it looks like really, Stu's really trying to switch up their defense offense right now. But I me mean, Mario is going to really just defend that ball right there, really cutting it close. And as they start to like, really get on their side of the core right now, you know, they're, we're getting a lot of more, like, closer chances to make the to make the ball into the goal right now. And I think what we're doing right now is pretty good. You know, as Rusty carries it very close to Snooze goals right now, AJ is going to come close and absolutely cut that ball off away from him. And Wishbone going to try and set it up for something here. Max is going to hit it through. Me, Mario is barely saving that, right? Hitting it at the top of the goal here. And as UMass, again, their defense has been amazing so far. But Wishbone setting something up, possibly making another goal. And oh. Max is just going to hit it right into his own goal, making it 1-0 for us with 3 minutes and 48 seconds on that clock. Yeah, one thing I noticed that round is that Snoo did a really good job of controlling the tempo of when they're able to actually touch the ball. We saw Mi Mario pass down to AJ there, who was able to just immediately launch it forward into a offensive position. And we also saw UMass Amherst not do that enough. We saw Corky Wan flying through the air with boost for a good solid 10 seconds there. Ball getting very close to going in the in the goal there, Corky wants going to find that demo on Mario though. This ball get re really close to Snooze goal here. Rusty is just gonna zoom right past us and score it right there. Not even 20 seconds left from that lap last goal, making it one to one. And you know, it though it is still one to one, both teams still want to get a point here. You know, I would assume that both teams don't really want to go to OT. They don't want to give the other team another chance. So Snoo really has to get their offense up, and same with UMass if they both really want to win. Yeah, Rusty's going to tie it up there one-to-one. -one. Um, and now the ball is not looking in the best position here for Snoo. I mean, Mario might just be able to just dribble it in <laughs> here, but Corky Wan is there for the defense. He did buy his team a lot of time there to gather up boost there. And AJ is looking at the forward position here. The striker is not going to be able to get there before they are able to push it out of the middle of the goal now. Yeah, the wishbone coming out with that demo. AJ is going to put the ball right back on UMass's Ooh, team right now. And is empty. Mario is just going to dribble it right through there with the pass from uh, from AJ. And that is going to be 2-1 to one for us. There was no one there on defense. You can see Corky really try to defend that goal there. Max as well, jumping straight into the goal. And that is more of the uh, other things we need. You know, we are finding those opening windows. And that's what Snoo really takes uh, advantage of, especially in these games. Yeah, and now we get to see Snoo kind of play their strategic game here. They can just play keep away for the rest of the game and win this round. <laughs> However, Max is going to prevent them from doing that. He is going to not let up on this offense here. And his airplay with this ball is immaculate right now. But Mario just taking him out there, not letting him play this offense here for his team. And AJ pushing the ball almost towards a goal there. Setting it up for Wishbone is going to go a little bit high, and Mario is just pushed out of the way there. What a nice defense there from Amherst. Max gets to play his turn here. AJ is going to say a nope and a block that ball straight out of the air there. As Corey Kwan gets the ball here, me Mario really trying to get that defense up, and AJ really pushing it back as, as well. We're seeing the best of the defense of both teams right now. And it's almost working really well uh, for us there. You know, Corky was able to come in kind of at the last minute and be able to save that ball for their team. But as we really start to like, you know, really start to play, it almost looks like we're just really passing the ball around. We're not trying to go for too much offense. Then again, we're also not trying to go for too much defense. A uh, scary position that we're in. Me and Mario are going to be able to save that goal very close. A minute and 30 seconds left. Or as we slowly start to approach that, you know, we're going to see a lot more aggression come from UMass. Uh, as they do not want to go in overtime. Wishbone really carrying the ball on the other side of the uh, of the field right now. He's going to be able to make a shot, unfortunately, not connecting. And uh, almost making it into our goal. Max just keeping it in the center of the goal here. Um, uh, as well as Corky Wan, who Rusty was so close to getting a goal there. Mario is going to deny that. And uh, Snoo just has to keep up this defense here. The best defense is a good offense because they have two goals and uh, Amherst only has one and now they're down a player for three seconds in this offensive position. Not what you want to see, Ooh. but that is Rusty's going to tie it up with 52 seconds on the clock. 
Yeah, what they really saw is that students have been actually really good on their uh, boost lately. You know, they haven't really been too many, too many, too many players that have run out of boost, and I think that's how we've been able to really keep up with all the. Uh, you know, obviously with all the aggression coming from UMass, but now that it's 2-2, two to two, you know, Snoo has to either play really defensive and find that opening window that they've been really good at, or they can go really aggressive and switch things off a little bit, but Max is going to be the, on the aggressive side and try to make a, uh, a goal here, but AJ is going to defend him right off, you know, with only 40 seconds left. Both teams right now do not want to go on their side. They're going to push it as much as they can. A demo. Oh, you're looking for that demo, but Rusty finds it first is going to provide a very favorable offensive position here for Amherst, and Rusty is going to use it well, pushing it towards the center of the goal here, AJ on the defense. And we can see the rest of the players here kind of, we see Corky one on the defense, but everyone else is trying to get that boost up, ready for that kind of Ooh. circular formation, but Mario is going to find the demo on Rusty. They Ooh. might be able to pull something oh. out here. AJ just going a little bit too high there on that shot. Wishbone keeping it in the air. Neither of the team want it to s hit the ground here. They can both still score a goal. AJ is going to dribble it, and they j they want to ground it now, right? Th yeah. It's in that bad position. That set it to midfield, right? They want it back on this kickoff and see what they can do. Restart, and now they have it in the position where they want it. Max it has that 100 boost ready for it offense here, but none of his team is there to set it up. Corky Wan looking for something. You know, AJ's been really, really well with these uh, with these saves he's been giving us. And as you know, we and now it's on our side um, of the balls on our possession. Now as we start to step things up, Bimaru taking it extremely high in the air, almost Ooh. making that goal. But UMass's team member says, no, no, thank you, not today. And they're going to be able to save it right away from Bimaru's hands. Yeah, Wishbone looking for that pinch, shutting up for AJ, but Max is there to defend and passing conveniently straight to Corky Wand and Rusty covering Wishbone is going to put the ball in a very good position for Amherst here. That double bounce is going to set up for Max who almost pushes it in there. Mario there for the defense. What a nice play or series of plays there from Amherst. But now Snoo has kind of regained their wits and gotten that boost that they need. Wishbone is looking to fake out someone there. But no one buys into it. Rusty is looking at a ball that is very close to Snoo's goal <laughs> now. And it, it would have gone in there if me Mario wasn't there. All right, me, again, me Mario and, and AJ, wonder, they're doing a wonderful job with these days right now. I, UMass is on, we're on, they're on our side of the field right now. And they're being extremely aggressive. But so far, we've been blocking it off just as strong as they've been putting it onto us. You know, already a minute and 35 in. We are seeing a lot from both teams. They're also, we're also equally running as much, you know, we're not running uh, too high on boost right now, but we are still able to defend these goals here as they start to come up. And we're getting extremely close now. Wishbone bringing it to UMass's side of the field. Me and Mario possibly trying to do a setup for AJ. Puts it in and just like that, and it's going to be three to two, making this another win for Snoo. Yes, yeah, Snoo is now on set point here. They need one more game to you know, close out this set. And what a nice third game there from both teams. Yeah. I, I think Snoo, you could tell how much both teams wanted that victory there for that because this is the momentum that you're looking at for the rest of the game. And um, I think we that first, like, one minute, 30 seconds yeah. did not feel like one minute, 30 seconds. There was just so much happening right. the entire game right. there. It was hard to honestly keep track of. Um, but... I think Amherst definitely put up a really good fight there. Uh, in overtime, they managed to play like incredibly well. Max looking at Ooh. almost an early goal. Wishbone going to push it off the top of the goal there, though. Grabs that boost, and now he's looking for a demo. Rusty is almost going to lose his car there. Be put back in spawn three seconds, but it was not in his favor there. Yeah, Mimara not having control of the ball, really trying to get it towards UMass's field here, but they're going to deflect it right back off. AJ may be setting up for one of his teammates, but Max is going to take possession of that and hit it right back towards us. And oh, Mimario defending that play. again is going to straight it right oh through that goal, God. right through that little needle of the two cars there. Four minutes and 20 se 26 seconds, dude. It, it oh. was like 30 seconds in. Just able to fly right through both cars, making it 1-0. to, to, one to oh. 
for yeah. Snoo here. You know, really, we're really setting the tone now of, of the match. You know, now we're in control. Yeah, and that was such a tactical play because you couldn't see it on that replay cam though. Uh, AJ managed to just send Max flying off of the ball there. Wishbone finding that demo, and the ball is so dangerously close to Snoo's thing. Um, but he he managed to send Max flying with no boost, and he was he was just you know a sitting duck. There's nothing for him to do there. AJ right. gonna find that save though. Um, Snoo is just having to defend against this relentless offense from Amherst right now. They are not letting up. Look at their formation. Max setting up for Rusty again, but Mario covering him is going to be able to intercept that offense. Yeah, no, as you said, Snoo's doing a really good job def uh, defending right now as Rusty hits it really close to the goal here. Wishbone is actually going to try and defend it, but unfortunately, uh, I, yeah, they, Rusty just proved me wrong and actually just made a goal straight into uh, Snoo's, Snoo's goal here. You can see Wishbone hit it up, and that was just a free goal for Rusty there. Now it's one-to-one. -one. There's still around four minutes in the game. Both teams still have a chance to be able to set this match score otherwise. Yeah, coming from that position is very hard to, to actually defend against that ball because it was going in if he did not touch it there. Right. But it just set up in the middle of the goal there for another person to come by and swoop it into the goal. And now Amherst back at their shenanigans. They are looking at a very up forward position, but running out of boost, Mario is going to double down. Set up for AJ, but Max is there for the defense. Finding that aerial demolition on Corky Wan, Wishbone is going to buy a lot of pressure here for Snoo. But Max and Rusty just got the coordination down. Not able to cheat it from AJ, however, but is able to cheat it from Wishbone there as he goes flying by. Corky One is now setting up for another round of attacks from Amherst. But AJ is going to defend it right back off, seeing it on their side of the field right now. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. AJ really is going to try and set something up for their team. Well, unfortunately, it's going to be blocked by UMass here as it starts to get really close to the goal. Wishbone is going to defend it right off. And AJ going to try and make a shot, but Corky says no and defends it again as well as they're doing, you know, both teams are really doing really well defense right now, even if it's on their side of the field, whosoever field it's on, they're both doing a really good job as it comes extremely close to Snooze Gold here, but Wishbone is gonna defend it right back out with only two minutes left. We're gonna, again, start seeing a lot of aggression. Corky One kind of dribbled this ball through us. Me Mario is gonna come out with that demo. It's gonna buy us a lot of uh, area to work with. Unfortunately, Wishbone was not able to hit that uh, uh, ball in the air there, but as Corky comes really close, Ooh, Max oh. makes a shot there. I'm sorry, almost makes that goal, but AJ was able to fend it off. Yeah, he's playing a game of rock paper scissors there. <laughs> yeah. he, he played uh, he played paper into scissors. Mario, however, is gonna play car into car and take out Corky One, almost Ooh. shutting down this offense. But Rusty and Max are not giving up. AJ just pushing him out of the goal and trying to get this ball out of that dangerous position there. And Max and Rusty bought enough time now for Corky One to be back. He has his boost. And they're looking at another offensive position here. We, we're seeing um, Max gather up his his uh, boost again for another yeah. strike. Ooh. And there it goes. It's not coming from Max. It's coming from Corky Wand. And he's going to bring it to 2-1 to one with 1 minute and 22 seconds on the clock for UMass Amherst. Yeah, we see Wishbone right there trying to defend it off, maybe going in a different place than he originally thought it was going to be. With only a minute and 20 seconds left, it is... It may seem like a long time, but with both teams fighting for the ball, it is not going to seem like too much of a time. But Wishbone coming out with that early demolition with, a, you know, as I was saying before, a minute and 20. They Ooh. have to be aggressive. Me, Mario, showing that aggressiveness, trying to get that ball in. But Corky One is not going to let him. And he's going to try and score for himself on his new side of the field. But he's not going to make it right, right away. As we've seen before, Mac and Rusty have been extremely aggressive. They want to get this ball in. They want to get this lead as much as they can. They do not want Snoo coming back at all. And Snoo is going to put a defense right to it. Rusty coming out with a demo on Mario. Max is going to come extremely close. And Corky is going to hit it right in there. 3-1, 50 seconds left. And Snoo really has to get this right away. It's not looking very favorable for us right now. Yeah, um, that pass from Max to Corky One was just so good there. It's very hard to defend it when the ball is moving that fast. Um, and Snoo is going to have to do more than defend right now. They're going to have to make two goals in the next 45 seconds to tie it up here. And 
this kind of position is one that you want to be looking at. They have a demo on the goalie. AJ has a little bit of boost, but it's not going to be enough. Max is going to cheat the ball from him there. Wishbone takes him out, and they are just looking at so many demos, but not enough boost right now. Wishbone, another demo on Corky Wand, and Rusty's going to dribble it over, and Mario looking at the save, but... They have 15 seconds on the clock. They're going to need more than the save right now. And Rusty is just keeping the ball away from them right now. Seven, six, five seconds on the clock. Will they be able to put this ball in a place where they can actually score it? They will not be able to. It gets grounded. And now we're looking at a scoreline that is so close. Right. Which you would have expected to see from these two teams coming out of the gates. They are 2-2. Two to two. And just look at the scorecards there. You can see how good of an offense that Amherst played that time. But let's not discredit Snoo because those first two goals yeah. were so tactical. Pushing yeah. Max out of the way there without the boost and just having him fly through the air for like five solid seconds. That's the kind of tactical decisions that buy you those goals there in the beginning. Right, no, definitely. Uh, we didn't see as many saves as much as we did last time. But even so, we were still able to keep up with their with their tempo. They were kind of being extremely aggressive. We didn't try to hold it too well at first. But now we're, st we're able to grab it and, you know, throw it somewhere else. We're trying to get control of the match now. You know, we're able to keep up with their speed and how aggressive they're playing. Right, Wishbone and Mario both going to be the strikers there. It's going to go a little bit low, though, and um, AJ is now looking to contest Max here. Going to cheat that ball from him, but Corky Wan almost going to pass there, but they have the interception, and Mario is now playing a little bit forward position for Snoo right now. The ball is kind of midfield, and they are both in their positions to kind of hit it back and forth right now. Right, all the snoo is really on uh, their on their own side of the field right now. You know, they don't want another oh. goal. You know, they really want to win this round. If anything, they might play more decent uh, defensive than offense than uh, offensive, just because they don't they don't want to lose this. You know, it's a sudden death Ooh. match for both teams right now. Mimar is going to carry it extremely close, and just like that, AJ is going to put it right into the goal. Absolutely not listening to my words about being defensive and being offensive. Right then and there, Rusty tried to defend it, which actually gave AJ that opening spot, you know, with, especially with this early goal, four minutes left. It's really going to make UMass, you know, try to get this goal in as much as possible. Snoo could really just play defense here and just not really do anything. But I also could be just as wrong as Max almost having that open goal and that demolition on AJ coming out. They are going to gain a lot of land from that, and Wishbone is going to be able to defend it right off on UMass's side. Yeah, notoriously in these past few games, Snoo has had to play as good of an offense as defense to be able to keep up with Amherst here in these uh, positions where they are Ooh. winning. But AJ is going oh. to almost score on an open goal there. Corky won, luckily has the boost to be able to defend that and not let that ball just be cheated from UMass Amherst. Right, no, we were really getting a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of aggression here. Max, unfortunately, not having a lot of boost, can't really carry it through the air here. But as the timer starts to tick down, it is, both teams are kind of like, kind of bleeding right now. Wishbone coming out with that demolition on Max. Uh, again, that's going to be one player down and Rusty taking him right back out, having Max's side. And Mimar is going to defend this as best as he can, but Corky Wan is going to put it on their side of the field. Corky coming out with the demo on AJ. Max trying to set something up for his teammates possibly, but Wishbone denies it, and Rusty just hits it back over again. Again, we've seen this many times on their side of the field, but I could be wrong here as AJ tries to get a possible shot off, but unfortunately it is going to be blocked as Max starts to carry it through the goal. Wishbone blocking it once more, and Corky Wan is going to get possession. But Mimario takes it right away. A possible goal coming, you know, 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. The time is ticking down. UMass has to do something in order if, he, if they want to, you know, score up this time here. Yeah, but UMass is looking a little bit low here. Max grabs that 100 and is able to fill up his tank a little bit. But when you're working the offense position there and you don't have enough boost, you just sent flying for seconds there. And that's so much tempo that you could be repositioning and that, or possibly contesting the ball there. And I think Snoo is doing a very good job of just um, minimizing that time in air. Uh, AJ is going to take that trade there with not enough boost, but he is regaining it right now and looking at some air dribble here. Gonna cheat it from 
possibly two players there, Rusty, and it sets up for Mario, who is going to have to contest with Corky One here. AJ is now responsible for that pass, and he does. He passes it to Wishbone, who is going to just bounce it back to the corner there. Snoo just has to work at getting it out of this corner right now and into the center of the goal. But Amherst is doing such a good job of just denying them from doing that. So, Right, like you said before, uh, we both teams have been extremely well on their bruise. You know, they've been really keeping up with the pace here. And that's one of the things that's making Snoo winning right now. You know, a minute and 20 left, about to be a minute. Wishbone! No, I thought the ball was closer down there than it really was, but I also wish by coming out with that uh, with that demo, AJ's going to try and hit it kind of close to the goal here, trying to set something up for his team. And again, we've seen Wishbone would take a lot of a lot of shots here, really trying to get a lot of shots on goal. AJ almost having that, unfortunately not right away. Max getting that demo on Mario, and AJ getting the demo on Max. Rusty tries to make a shot, but Wishbone's going to save it right away. AJ's going to carry it to their side of the field. Rusty is going to take it right from him. 50 seconds left. UMass is getting angry. They want this goal, but Wishbone is going to deny him once more. Again, Corky One going to try and get possession. Me, Mario is going to just throw it to their side of the field. They do not want it on Snoo side at all. Max is going to try and dribble it. It is up to AJ to defend this, and that's exactly what he does. Rusty and Max were not able to connect right away, but the ball is getting dangerously close. The Snoo's goal here, 30 seconds left. We are going to see a lot of aggression and anger coming out. Wishbone also coming out with that demo on Rusty. It is on uh, UMass' side of the field now on Snooze. 20 seconds. There's not, uh, the, you know, there's not too much of a ball ball action on really close on both sides of the goals right now. But Wishman again with those demos coming out many times. AJ with that shot and it's going to make it 2-0. to oh, 10 seconds left. It almost looks like it's going to be a Snooze win here unless UMass comes out with some crazy, you know, some crazy play making it you know, to, to, to in their favor. It is looking very grim for UMass Amherst here. They need two goals in 10 seconds to tie it up. Starting from the kickoff right now, it is starting to bleed down their timer and they don't have a lot to work with here. Snoo could ground it and they will and just take the set there. They have the wind three to two. And that's the kind of tactical playing that we're gonna see this season from, from Snoo. I, I just like the looks all around from Snooze play um, that game. So uh, very well played from both teams. Definitely. Uh, anything you want to add to that? No, I just want to. No, as you said before, both teams were really well. Uh, I think uh, UMass's Amherst pace was a little bit different than what we're used to, but we adapted very quickly and we were able to keep up with what. Uh, what we were do, uh, what they were doing, and just like that, we were able to switch off pretty fast from offense to defense and defense to offense, and I think that's what really made us win that game. Yeah, right. I I think Snoo definitely played exactly how you're saying there, and um, overall, GGS, I I think they played very well. So yeah, uh, well played from both teams, and that will be the rest or our conclusion to Rocket League for tonight. So um, if you enjoyed what you saw, uh, make sure to check us out on Twitter. Um, our tag is Snoo Esports, also Instagram. Uh, every every at is the exact same, uh, <laughs> at Snoo Esports. Right? Yeah. So uh, check us out there on our socials, and we will be back on Monday with uh, Valorant, if I'm right. Yeah, Valorant. So, uh, see you then. Or as the ball comes really close to their goal, no one is really there to execute it. But AJ, or yeah, AJ proves me wrong and just scores a goal right away, making it one to three. Um, it's still definitely a possible comeback for Snoo to defend these goals here as they start to come up. And we're getting extremely close now. Wishbone bringing it to UMass's side of the field. Me Mario possibly trying to do a setup for AJ puts it in, and just like that, and it's going to be three to two. Make one of his teammates on Max is going to take possession of that and hit it right back towards us. And oh, me, Mario, defending that again, is going to straight it right oh through that goal, God. right through that little needle of the two cars there. Four ball action wound really close on both sides of the goals right now. But Wishman again with those demos coming out many times. AJ with that shot, and it's going to make it 2-0. Oh, 10 seconds left.